A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Renna. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. It is a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts, also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can, and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Ah. I heard about you. Good to finally meet. Name's Blythe. 
Sworn sword to Mistress Rani. Glad to have you aboard. Well, getting right to business. I'm situated in Limgrave right now. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Don't keep me waiting, eh? I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. It was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave... I shall entrust thee with this. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What is it? You may go. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path, only I may tread.
dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. It's an Imperium. Of the demigods, only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers, as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika, to become the new god of the coming age, which is when I received Blythe, in the form of a vassal tailored for an Imperium. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the rune of death. Slew mine own Imperium flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. And the baleful shadows are their assassins. I turned my back on the two fingers. And we have each been cursing the other since. The baleful shadows are their assassins. Even when I turned my back upon the two fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for an Imperium, he was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers, Blythe and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me, yet they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path, that I must betray everything, and rid the world of what came before? Now, should I add thee to the list? Another one, kind of heart, as kind of heart as they. Ah, this form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget. So, it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee, travel the path of the lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. my fellow. How can I help? A 
unthinkable. How could Blythe? How did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani. Yet even in madness, gave himself to her. I made a grave misjudgment. And I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. Hmm. You're tarnished. The battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars, a thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal.